All right, all right, ladies, gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, welcome back to Greedfall. How you doing? I hope you're doing all right. Quick announcement. Tomorrow, there is a possibility I will not be streaming because I have to take my grandmother to the doctor, and she scheduled her appointment around that time. So we'll see how that plays out. But otherwise, let's get right back into it. And back we go. Ugh. But yeah, she's fine. Shouldn't be uh, anything more than a regular checkup. Let's see what Constantine has to say. Hello, my dearest cousin! Cousin! You have returned! How did things go? You don't look well. What's happened? Nothing. Nothing terribly bad in any case. I must have eaten something that's having trouble going through me. It sure. seems to me that this illness has been lingering too long. Who prepares your meals? Are they safe? No one is poisoning me, fair cousin. We are far from court and their customs. It's nothing. Take my word for it. Now then, what do you have to tell me? Oh, uh, well, here's we what we found. We had a talk with Lady Morange, and we explored the ruins that she suggested we visit. All our findings point to one conclusion. Those ruins were originally built by the Congregation of Merchants. The Congregation? Us? But Father never once even hinted. Once again, he must have deemed me unworthy to know the secret. How he must despise me. Constantine. We need to learn more. I want to understand. I need to know everything my father has kept from me. This question also concerns you. You look too much like a native for that to be a coincidence. Since we cannot bombard my father with questions, others here must give us the answers we require. The congregation, even in the past, could not have made it to this island without help. We are pitiful sailors. You are thinking of us. But I assure you that I know nothing of this story. You are perhaps simply not aware, but your admiral stationed at the captainry surely is. Go and find her, cousin. Try to learn the final chapter of this story. Very well. Anything else? Nope, I'll see what I can find. All right, come on, Vasco. I'm going to leave now. Goodbye, Constantine. Look out for yourself. Right, and I can compose the team from here. Oh, nope, that's not what I meant to do. All right, um, Kurt, sorry. Vasco, let's go. Andiamo. Oh, shit, we got... I forgot just that quickly we leveled up um what is this anointed weapons bombs file throw all right let's uh let's upgrade that a bit and hmm huh. What is, uh, willpower? Well, see, the amount of it doesn't really matter if I have better damage for it. Um, let's actually save that, because I think I have something that uh, I might be able to wear in my, um, what's it called? Stat, in my, like, stash thing. And I need to see how much willpower it requires. Before we go talk to the Admiral, we're just gonna always pass this door. We're just gonna walk on in here and see what's up. It requires four. Okay. Oh, wait, why'd I do that? I could have just taken it. And then our next one 
comes at 22. We're at what, 19? Wait, what was that? Hold on. That wasn't willpower? Oh, mental power. There is a fucking difference. Oof. Okay, um... No, I don't want to do that. I'll just wait for the next point then. Alright. I'm gonna drop stop off at the merchant first. Oh that mean that does mean I can give this to Petrus though. Come closer, good people. Or it should. You'll find all Welcome! It's such a pleasure to see. Have you seen any Uh bye? I can't see. Okay, that, hmm. There's a higher tier ver oh my god, they keep passing me by. I'll figure out where to get it. Just not Thank from here, I suppose. See you soon. All right, Admiral, you got some explaining to do. Sarde, what can I do for you? I've explored many ruins on this island. Ruins that, after careful scrutiny, were built by the congregation. In one of them, we found a journal that made reference to your guilt. This document, as are the buildings, date much further back than the arrival of the Bridge Alliance a decade ago. These discoveries raise a good many questions. Questions that my cousin would like you to answer. I understand. All the same, we are in a difficult situation. We are bound by the pact. I could eventually overlook these engagements if you would perform a service. Okay. Commander Fernando, who holds the port of San Mateus, has problems with certain members of Teleme. The bishop that accompanies you on occasion could without a doubt tell you more. I won't hesitate to speak to him about it. Solve these problems, and I will reconsider the validity of the pact. I will answer your questions. Anything else? No, Admiral, thank you. I need to be going. Until we meet again, Admiral. All right, so we're gonna be pet travel with Petrus and Vasco for once. <laughs> I don't think we've ever had them both together. Let's just grab Petrus and fast travel out. Wait a minute, what? Oh, he's technically inside. Okay. I forget how companions like to hang out in there sometimes. Where is he? No, talk to him. Thank you. My dear child, what can I do for you? <sighs> Ask him about the no- oh. I had a meeting with Admiral Cabral concerning what we found in those ruins. She said she was bound by a pact that kept her from answering questions on the subject. The Nords are nothing more than mercenaries of the oceans. I suppose that she wants something in exchange. Effectively. She told me that her men posted at San Mateus met with some problems, and she advised me to speak to you. Does that make sense? I believe I see what the Admiral is speaking about. Or rather, who? A few of our zealous brothers are overcome by their faith. You already witnessed it for yourself at San Mateus. They look with a wary eye at all those who do not swear faith to Teleme, and refuse to express their faith openly. It is possible they have decided to target the Norts. We will need to speak with those on Teleme lands. And, of course, seek out the Bishop Domitius. All right. I will see you later, Father. 
Take care, my child. Nope, you're actually coming with me, so just uh, compose. Sorry, Siora, you gotta stay behind for a bit. Right, come on, boys. Time to quick travel a bit. God, I just love the outfit that I have picked out for myself. It's just great. Look at it. It's the pinnacle of excellence. Alright, down to San Mateus. Hey, what? There's two things? Okay. Oh, shit. Oh, wait a minute. I might be able to get it from him. Or a sailor coat. All right, so wait. Okay, this this makes more sense. Two three hundred. I I have it. I can uh purchase it. There we go. Now I'm just broke. I'm just broke as shit. Alright, so let's, uh... Because I, I do need endurance, too. Strength, endurance. Okay, so I've got one point in it. Okay. So we'll just have it. Go speak to these religious zealots again. How much I hate doing it. So wait, why is it two different? Oh, it's just talk to both of them. Okay. Been a while since we've been here properly. Alright, where you at, buddy? Inside. Sir? Hello, my lady. You are from the congregation, are you not? I am. Indeed. De Sarde, your admiral has sent me here. Pleasure. You may call me Fernando. I am the port commander here. What might I do for you? We must speak on these extremists. Your admiral informed me that you've been having problems with a few citizens of Teleme. What more can you tell me? Problems, huh? We're up to our necks and sinking with problems. Yeah, I even received threats to my own person. One of those high and mighty long robes dared walk upon my docks with talk of burning me at the stake. Burning me? Then two of my men up and disappeared, and I do not believe in coincidence. I wanted to ask for help from the Mother Cardinal, but she did not answer my requests for an audience. I see. The games of politics are not my forte, and investigations even less so. Find my men. I implore you. More questions? Nope. Thanks. I've got everything I need. I'm Fernando definitely gonna help you out. Close. When she was captain, he was her chief mate. She trusts him completely. That's why she put him in charge of the management of the port of San Mateus. We should talk to some other sailors at the port. If some of their comrades have also disappeared, they may be able to give us some information. Here's hoping. Uh, there seems to be one person over here we can talk to. I don't see any more. You there, sir and or madam. Good day. I am looking for several sailors, some noughts that disappeared a few days ago. Sorry, that doesn't ring any bells. But I did hear talk like everyone else on the port, but that's all. What have you heard? You should ask the mage inquisitors who have taken up lodgings here of late. They must have certainly seen something. We see them everywhere. 
and they spend their time spying on all that moves, especially eyeing all that the knots are up to. And what do these mage inquisitors look like? They wear a very peculiar symbol. We cannot question all the inquisitors roaming around the port. Oh, well, I'm sure Petrus has some insight for us. Petrus, buddy, anything? Good day. I'm looking for two men, noughts, that went missing a few days ago. Do you know anything about them? Why? As a matter of fact, I do. Three or four days ago, I was at the tavern having a conversation with a sailor, a nice fellow. He was telling these stories. He was drinking hard. He went outside for a moment to... you can imagine. And well, he never came back. He wasn't that drunk to have passed out. If it were that, we would have found him. No. Something happened to him. That's a fact. But I would be at a loss to tell you what. If one of the sailors disappeared as he came out of the tavern, that's where we should go. If we find Inquisitors there, they'll certainly know more than the ones we see here. Yep, let's see what we can find. Though, if we find Inquisitors anywhere, anywhere, they spy on everybody, so you know, they, they all might know something. Or at least a little something. Up oh, there it is. We're approaching the tavern. If we want to eavesdrop the conversations, we should be discreet. Okay, wait, is this the tavern or the court uh guards barracks? Oh, interesting. Can't really e eavesdrop on the conversation, can I? Maybe from up there? But can I get up there? No. little strange. Alright, so maybe we just, uh... When are we going to act? Our men are twiddling their thumbs, and that's bad for their morale. Let's not even speak about the guards at the prison. Who likes having clandestine prisoners in their jails? You are impatient. We haven't been able to get out of them what we need to hear. But it won't be long. Then we can act and launch the grand purification of the Noughts. While waiting, keep your men on a leash, especially those in the jails. If the Mother Cardinal learns that you are detaining Noughts in a cell in your barracks... We'll be in muddy waters. But then you will too. No need to remind me. They're gone. I cannot believe that these lunatics dare to capture some of my brothers to interrogate. We must set them free from the coin's jail as soon as possible. As for this talk of purification, gives me shivers. Yeah, definitely. Um... Do we want to... Do we want to talk to, uh... Yeah, let's talk to the bishop first. Wait, am I going the right way or the wrong way? I don't know. We'll see. Um... Plus, we, can all, we also might be able to mention it to the Mother Cardinal. And if we can, that would be just dandy. Put the Inquisitors in a bunch of, uh, shit. Just fuck them up. Real bad.
in we go. I love just pushing these doors open like I'm the only one who has the right to enter them. What do you want from me, my daughter? Lady de Sade, emissary of the congregation. Ah. The congregation still has the uncanny gift of surprising us. I am Bishop Domitius. I represent the Ordo Luminous on the island. What can I do for you? I believe you have a few problems with the noughts who reside in the port. We have problems with all matter of heretics, my daughter. And of course the pagan noughts would be among them. They are very secretive and have all sorts of strange rituals that they keep to themselves under cloak of mystery. The sorcery they employ to guide their ships is drawn from nature, just like the sorcery used by the natives. And to top it all off, and this is where it stings, we suspect them to be at the origin of the Malachor. Whatever do you mean? Any proof? How? Have you ever once crossed paths with a nought suffering from the blood plague? Why are they spared? The only logical reason is that they are at its origin, calling upon various cursed rituals. It's as simple as day. I am certain that we will find clues of their rituals and their pagan idols in their stockhouses in the port. What a nest of absurdities. What other reaction would you expect from those responsible for the curse that afflicts us? Uh, very well. Let's just agree that these rumors need to be verified. Anything else? Nope. Hey, Mother Cardinal. Your Eminence, I salute you. Lady de Sarde, what can I do for you? Okay, I can't wait, can I? Nope. I must leave you. Naturally, Your Excellency. All right, let's go check it out. Oh, that, that's freeing the captives. Oh, wait, there was something else. And then investigate the sec uh, secrets she has mentioned. Just doing all these uh, quid pro quo, quo missions all the time. This is what, the second series in a row? Right, the tavern is down this way. Either way, we should be able to pass through. Uh, not over here, through this door, maybe. A feast for the eyes, ladies and gentlemen. And it's free. Come and see me as soon as you are. All right, here we are. This is not the jails. This might be it. Halt! You have no authority to go any further. And if I gave you this so that you might go and have a little fun? In that case, I could certainly look the other way for a while, but be discreet. I don't think that's gonna... unless they're both in on it over there. Thank you. Thank you for getting us out of there. Those Inquisitors are completely mad. They tortured us. They wanted us to admit to all manner of horrors. Stories of some demonic cult and curses of Malachor. 
I was of the firm belief that they were going to kill us. But you must make haste. They are planning some sort of wickedness. They spoke of a great purification. And after that, they did this to us. It doesn't bode well, not at all. I heard them talking about their headquarters near the palace. Maybe you'll learn something there of interest. Thank you again for freeing us. We'll be able to make it back to port on our own. We need to discover what is behind this talk of purification before they can execute their plan. I mean, we they should obviously... probably find out more about this secret first. If we don't discover anything reprehensible, we'll have an easier time convincing the Mother Cardinal to intervene. I mean, they obviously are psychotic religious zealots, so this is the very, very wrong way uh, to go. They got no proof of their claims and just assume based off uh, mysticism and uh, cynicalism. Right. Investigate the secrets. Okay. So that, that's all we got. I need to change into a disguise. But am I not going to the right place? No, there's got to be a way around. This way. Yes, there we go. Wait, do I not? Okay, I don't need to, so let's actually just talk to him like a normal human being. Good day, Desade. How can I help you? I met the representative of the Ordo Luminis, and he spoke of his fears concerning the Noughts. That hardly surprises me. That man is full of pride and arrogance, and sees evil wherever he gazes. That bishop is not made of milk and kindness, but his questions are intriguing. He suspects you to be somehow responsible for the Malachor, because you never fall prey to it. Responsible for the Malachor? <laughs> and how? Through your magic. Some sort of ritual. Do you use a magic very similar to that of the natives? I have nothing more to say about it. Those are merely the fantasies of a lunatic. More questions? Not anything more than that. Thanks. I've got everything I need. The commander will probably not tell us anything more about the Nort's secrets. But the documents at the Harbor Master's office may teach us something new. If we can stay discreet. Um... Just walking on through. Wait, where's the stairs? Or do we have to go around somewhere? Like around the back? in through here that's good ah uh, is it no it's in the next room open the door I'm not trying to sprint this note speaks of a secret hangar. We should investigate, even though it's sure to be well guarded. That way, we'll know exactly what the Noughts are hiding from us. I can assure you we're not hiding anything reprehensible. But if you absolutely want to check it out for yourself... I mean, not that you know of, Vasco, and I... 
I am perfectly fine with assuming you're telling me the truth. Yes, I understand. Nope. Let's uh, keep that as well. Yeah, we might disintegrate it at least at one point. What else am I carrying? Keep hitting the wrong button. Uh, I can sell one of these or give one to Vasco. You know what? Let's give one to Vasco. All right, there you go, buddy. We just change on back. Where am I going? Wait, is this this is this the same place? Okay, but where I guess where am I going is the actual question. Where is it on the map? It's out the door. deeper it towards the back, but I don't think we can get there from the way we just came from. Wait, can I squeeze back this way? Is this... Nope. Just a chest. Probably can't get through this door either. Nope. Still no. Oh, what's this? Damn it. Through we go. Uh. Okay, so we got some stuff down here. Is this sea equipment? Yeah. I've already seen this type of engine in my uncle's court. It's used to spy upon the stars. These objects are called sextants. Looking at the heavens through them, we can determine and track precisely the course of our ships. Nothing magic or impure therein. They are nothing but measuring instruments. Uh, what's this? Then? These machines are extremely complex. Is it an astrolabe? I've never seen anything like this. This one looks like it has a shouting dolphin etched into its side. I wouldn't begin to know how this one works. It's a new model, invented recently. It's designed to measure the depths of the oceans. It's extremely useful. Interesting. And that? It looks like a thermometer. And this other machine? Does it really predict the weather? The second instrument is a barometer, and it does indeed predict where the weather is going to be. Nothing magic in it either, I can tell you that. Okay, so just simple sailing equipment. 
you know, things we figured out around the same, uh, century. A little bit earlier. These instruments are incredible, and I would be hard-pressed to use them. But I certainly see nothing magic in here. Nor anything diabolical. For as long as they work and are really used, these instruments seem to be the product of science. And I have definitely found nothing related to the Malachor, nor a secret sect or cult. <sighs> this Domitius has let his imagination and the taste of naught secrets get the better of him. I don't think you realize the importance of what you have just seen. These instruments allow us to dominate the oceans and discover new worlds. Keeping this secret has enabled us to remain the only ones capable of navigating the high seas. Everyone just thinks you use a magic of your own. We were the ones that spread that rumor. It harms our reputation, but protects us from competition. And this story about the Malachor? I have no way to explain why we don't catch it, but we're not responsible for it. I truly hope you'll reveal nothing of what you've discovered in this place. Okay, well, I mean, oh, we got teleported back up here. Uh, maybe the temperate sea air, because you're, you're all always at sea. Uh, Stops it? I don't know. I don't. I'm not a virologist. Now our priority is to discover what this great purification is. Now let's go stop these inquisitors. And I know exactly where to go for that. No need to hunt for doorways. And I'm honestly surprised nobody's figured them out other than the knots. Knots so far. All right. Now right up to the city square. Here we are. Alright, find proof against the Order of Luminous. Let's look in here, since this is a door. Nothing. Storeroom slash probably jail cell. Okay. None of that. Oh my God. I just don't have any magic left. Okay. Well, they certainly want us to keep us out of here. Hello, torture room. We must meet with the Mother Cardinal urgently. Only she can put an end to this madness. Oh, th this is not the way. All right, here's hoping more didn't come in and try to stop us. All right, I need to go over to the merchant to sell some of the stuff first. All 
of our products are a blip. Don't hesitate to have a rummage around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sell. Anything uh, keeping all that. Oh yeah, I'm keeping those, that's right. There we go. Um, those are similar to what I got on, but we'll keep them. You know what, no. You know, 18. Then I got a bunch of junk. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, dearest Mother Cardinal, we have a conspiracy in your midst. If that isn't the most common fucking thing now. God damn, I hate conspiracy theories so much. I am glad that Alex Jones flipped out on QAnon though. Fuck him. Yes. I would like to have an audience with the Mother Cardinal to discuss the discoveries made during our investigation. What is this about, Demetrius? Well. I don't rightly know. You see, Eminence, Bishop Domitius has brought to my ears his order's accusations concerning the Norts. According to him, they practice a religion close to those of the natives and use a nature-drawn magic. They would also be implicated, therefore, in the appearance of the Malachor. That is an extremely serious accusation. Effectively. Considering the accusation is founded on no proof, other than the Nort's tradition of secrecy. But these suspicions have pushed the Order to extreme actions, risking the fragile peace of the island. The Ordo Luminis captured several Norts, locked them in jails rented to them by the Coin Guard. They were tortured with the singular goal of forcing them to admit heresy. They obtained nothing. If I had not intervened, these men would be dead. Is this true, Domitius? Some of our brothers undoubtedly misinterpreted the evil. I would have never allowed such a plan. These Norts are now united with their captain, and I am certain they would be most eager to bear testimony. I caught wind of a ridiculous scheme planned for the port by the Ordo Luminis, and I wanted to clear it up. I was able to get my hand on documents that effectively detailed an attack, a great purification. They were signed by you, Father, and included a contract where you enlisted the assistance of the Coin Guard to attack every Nort building and imprison every one of their men that could be taken alive. Domitius, how could you? Whatever did you want to accomplish? The Norts are not believers. We should not be dependent on heretics. Have you gone completely mad, Domitius? We are on an island. How could we not be dependent on the Norts? I want them arrested. Him and every member of his order. I will decide at a later time their fate. I thank you for bringing this business to my attention. Going after the Norts. What madness. Without you, this city would now be drowning in chaos. Carry my best wishes to your cousin. His desire to maintain the peace on the island honors his house's reputation. I will tell him, Your Eminence. Until we meet again. Alright, well we've got that sorted. Let's go back to the Admiral. And it seems like, well, here's hoping, we won't have to deal with any members of the Order of Luminous ever again. <laughs> It's just, uh, it's a shame that I didn't get to murder, uh, Inquisitor Aloysius. He's a psychotic dick.
and I hate him. What do you want now? Uh. Okay, nothing really other than tell you you're a dick. Bye. Nothing. It's all right. Remember that the enlightened is always watching you. Mm-hmm. All right, let's go back to the Admiral. Sarday, what can I do for you? I've settled the problem in San Mateus. Several of your men were imprisoned by the Ordo Luminis. The misguided brothers planned to attack the port. I had them arrested. They should no longer be a threat to you. The Order thought you to be heretics because of your tradition of secrecy. The secrets. They often cut both ways. Therefore, I'm going to reveal to you another. We discovered this island nearly two centuries ago. A few decades later, we sold the discovery to your nation of merchants. Then, our closest allies. We transported some lords, men, and merchandise. They began to colonize the island. The lords revealed themselves to possess a tyrannical nature and began to exploit the lands with a deadly passion. Their actions provoked a revolt of the natives, but also the very workers and craftsmen they had brought with them. The magic of the natives of Tir Fredi was awoken. Beasts came out of the woods and destroyed the new cities. Only a handful of lords and armed men were able to make it back to our ships. The losses were enormous. The humiliation, devastating. Your princes paid us well to keep their secret. They continued to make the occasional expedition. You are, in fact, a product of one of them. Shit. What are you saying? You must have had your doubts. You are the child of a native. You were born on one of our ships. The child of an islander? But I know who my mother is, and... I understand how difficult this is to hear. And I wouldn't know why your family has kept this from you all this time. In the end, we decided to sell the secret location of the island to other nations. The congregation, in spite of its fears, could not keep away. And here you are again. I am sorry for the shock I have caused you. You asked me for the truth, and now you have it. Anything else? No. I need to be going. Until we meet again, Admiral. Other, I can't other believe than that, it. no. That for all this time, I've been fed lies. Did Constantine know? I must... I must go see him. My child, I understand that this revelation is upsetting. I, I wish I had the right words to comfort you. In any case, you do not have to be ashamed of your ancestry. You'll find all you this island is at the very select. core of all our fates. I mean, Come yes, on, sir, and I don't think she feels ashamed. She feels lied to. I would. I can't possibly see who wouldn't. Maybe I should keep that on. Kaza, you couldn't pick a better time. I've been taken with jitters like a cat on a midday roof. What are you waiting for with such anticipation? I took your advice, you see. 
I've summoned one of these crows! He has been examining me for nearly an hour. I just barely escaped a purge. But I was given the mandatory bleeding. I so hate their little knives. And so then, our venerable doctor, what is the verdict? It's... the blood is black. Constantine, is this your blood? Constantine, answer me! Constantine, stay with me! Constantine! There is a chance he is an error. It might be something else. I'm going to die. No. No, Constantine. I will die, like your mother and the others on the continent. I... I'm dying! I don't want to die. I don't. No, no, not so soon. It's so good. Cousin, I... I don't want... Constantine, I am here. Pull yourself together. Out. Everyone out. It's an order. Thank you, cousin. There now. Are you better? I don't know. You won't leave me, will you? I'm going to find a cure, I promise you. Didn't you promise the same thing to your mother? You know I'll be dead before you find one. Don't say that. I will succeed. I've already some promising trails to explore. I don't know, cousin. The tidings are so awfully dire. I'm afraid. I'm so afraid. I doubt the reason for your visit was to console me in my tragedy. Tell me, what brings you here? It can wait. It's nothing that cannot be dealt with later. But please, please, whatever it is, it will take my mind elsewhere. I was able to get the whole story out of the Admiral in exchange for a service. As our investigation was leading us to imagine, the Congregation did once attempt to colonize the island. The Noughts discovered it some two centuries ago and brought our people here a few decades later. But the enterprise to colonize the island failed completely. There were a great many bloody battles. Few colonists survived. The princes preferred to hide their defeat and paid the Noughts to keep the secret. That they hid the fiasco from the world, I get. But that my father said nothing about it to me. That's not the most shocking part of the story. Believe me. What do you mean? The congregation continued to make expeditions to the island with the help of the Noughts. According to the Admiral, my mother was captured from here during one of them. I was born on one of their ships. What? But... That means you are not... Your fair cousin. No. All the lies that we've been fed since our tender childhood. The fable told I am the spitting image of my dead father, lost during an expedition. I... I don't know what to think, Constantine. Why did they do that to me? I don't know. It's another one of their sly and dark orchestrations, some vile intrigue. If it is of some comfort, no matter the true story, you will always be my fair cousin. You have always been the only one to care for me. You. I'm my only friend. That's all that matters to me. Keep this discovery between us. No one needs to know. My aunt adopted you after all. Bring in the others. Let us speak of different concerns. That's enough bad news for one day. Kurt, what is... Dismissed! Soldiers! Leave us. We have much to say. What is going on? I don't appreciate this attitude, Kurt. Must I remind you that these men all answer to me? Times change, Your Highness. Or rather, they're about to do so. Is that a threat? What are you hoping to accomplish? Don't tell- Silence! We have little time and none to lose. Kurt, what are you talking about? The commander of the Coin Guard is here in New Serene at this very moment. He's preparing a coup d'etat. In the three cities of the island, our men are going to eliminate the governors and their entourage. This is madness. How? How? 
You'll go down as easy as plum pie and cherry wine. Standing behind every one of you is one of our men. You have entrusted us with your security. You are completely at our mercy. Then why did you send your men away? And why are you telling us all of this? I've known you both for a very long time. Too long. I've come to know you. To respect you. And I've never reneged on a contract. These orders go against all that I am. A cold-hearted mercenary. Definitely. But never a traitor. And so now you are forewarned. You must take action. Thank you, Kurt. I will not forget this. Constantine, we need to get you to safety as well as your counselors. But I want to... What? Take part? You can barely stand up. No, we must take you into the cellar. If I've completely understood what you've said, Kurt, the governors of our cities are also in danger. Yes. If you want to keep your allies, your highness, you also need to warn them. Correct. We cannot let them fall into the hands of these traitors. I will find the means to send them a messenger. Do you know where your conspirators are? It would seem I should be one of them. They are counting on me to eliminate both of you. The most urgent matter is to get our hands on the commander and his three lieutenants. The others are doing nothing but following orders. If we cut off the heads, they will fall into rank. <gasps> I always knew you were a good man. Don't make me change my mind. We'd better be off. Now. Holy shit, okay. So, game-changing moments. Uh, where's Ciara? All right, yes. so when we return in a moment, we're actually gonna see about fixing this fucking coup. What, what are the odds, right? What are the odds? Uh, so I uh, thanks so much for watching, and I will be back in a moment.